probably my biggest decision I ever made in terms of my career was when I graduated from medical school, I decided not to be a doctor, physician, uh, you know, clinical doctor. Instead, I chose to become a basic uh, medical scientist. So because of this, uh, my medical background, um, obviously I value uh, if my research has a, a real world impact and um, you know, my research helps somebody, that's very nice. But that will never be a fundamental driving force for uh, my motivation uh, in you know, as, as a scientist. I think I am driven by uh, my curiosity. I would like to know uh, anything, you know, some, some new facts uh, which nobody else has known. I believe in God. So I yeah, I, whenever I feel challenge or difficulty or whatever, um, you know, stumbling block or whatever, I try to do my best and then uh, ultimately I entrust him <laughs> for the rest, which I define as an ultimate optimism. You know, as, lo as long as you do your best, something will happen anyway. And uh, that will direct you to the next step. That's my view. I consider myself very, very lucky scientist in that uh, two of my major discoveries so far. One was the discovery of en what's called endothelin. This is a vascular endothelial derived vasoconstrictive factor which I happened to discover uh, when I was a, a PhD graduate student. Um, actually, the discovery of endothelin is my PhD dissertation. Back in uh, 1999, 98 to 99, uh, you know, I discovered uh, this neuropeptide called orexin. And then uh, we discovered that lack of orexin, orexin deficiency causes the disease called narcolepsy uh, in mice. So narcolepsy is disease in which you have a difficulty maintaining wakefulness. You, you, you know, for example, during this type of one-to-one -one interview, even uh, you suddenly fell asleep. That type of thing. So turns out that orexin, uh, this neuropeptide in the brain, is a very, very important, um, you know, uh, factor in your brain, which is essential to maintain, properly maintain your wakefulness. So that was again, eventually translated into uh, useful medicine. I kind of uh, uh, told myself, that I will save the patients the day after tomorrow. Not tomorrow's patients, the day after tomorrow's patients. That was my kind of motto uh, in order to justify myself uh, not, yeah, for, for not becoming a physician myself. And uh, yeah, I, I think that uh, motto dream was uh, fulfilled uh, because my discovery was both translated to useful medicine. The ability to ask a great research question, you know, formulating your research question, that's, that's the, I think, single most important factor which separates you from uh, the rest of the uh, 
you know, cloud. So uh, actually, I'm a kind of citing uh, interesting、uh, statement from my kind of mentor, mentors,、uh, Professor Goldstein and Brown、uh, in UT Southwestern Medical Center.、Uh, They, they got a Nobel Prize back in 2000,、uh, I'm sorry, 1985 out of their cholesterol research.、Uh, they say, you know, they、uh, reference this uh, ISOP uh, story, I guess.、Um, you know, they say,、uh, you know, Fox knows everything, but Hedgehog knows one thing very deep. So that's a fox and the hedgehog. So they say, especially Dr. Goldstein used to say that in order to be a great scientist, you have to be simultaneously a fox and a hedgehog. In other words, you have to you know, know you know, a great variety of things in your field.